Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my presentation or my webinar. Uh, thank you for uh, watching it. Thank you for attending, and uh, I hope you're uh, doing fine. So today I'm going to present about Arrow Electronics and all the uh, products that Arrow is offering under uh, our umbrella. So yeah, for, I'll start off with uh, the first slide, which uh, says that by the time you've had your morning coffee, it's likely you've already interacted with Arrow at least five times. Uh, it, if it takes charge or sends a signal, chances are Arrow was part of building it. Like for example, you have a coffee machine, you have the refrigerator, you have a PC, you have a tablet. It's uh, more likely that Arrow, an Arrow part, was built into that uh, device that you're working on. So uh, Arrow, we guide innovation forward by thinking five years out. So what do you, what do you mean by five years out? You would ask, uh, is the tangible future where, where, or where what's past possible meets what's practical? So we are always thinking ahead of what's going to be in the future so that uh, we can you know, participate and help people innovate to move forward. So we bring five years out to life through a spectrum of solutions, and I'll be talking about it in the next slides. We call this sensor to sunset. Uh, this is uh, this is kind of a motto to us because uh, we offer almost everything, uh, everything that we can see under the sun. So the arrow uh, key product lines from sensor to sunset uh, are here. So most of the uh, top vendors or the suppliers are under us so they are analog devices sd micro nxp uh, texas instruments you know i'll just skip some like a microchip uh, a micron or western digital or sun sandisk intel we, intel is uh, being take care, taken care by arrow and also uh, uh, vishay on semiconductors of course and newcomers like semtech Samtech, in the uh, Kingston, Unigen, Winbond. So these are the um, usual uh, suppliers that you will encounter every day. So uh, also Qualcomm is under ours, and uh, you know some of the, the sensors that we have are also being taken care of, uh, like in the in the likes of analog devices, SD micro on semiconductors, uh, Silicon Labs, TI. NXP and so on. So I'm going to talk more about them in the following slides. So for semiconductors, we have CPU and MCUs, uh, NXP, Silicon Labs, uh, SD Microelectronics, uh, uh, Microchip, TI, Texas Instruments, of course the Intel, which is the uh, CPU type of uh, solutions. Infineon has also has their automotive type of MCUs and also Cypress. For FPGA and CPLD, we have Intel uh, in partnership or, or Altera, which is already a part of Intel. Lattice Semiconductors, MicroSemi, now a uh, microchip company. Uh, for memory and uh, RAM flash, we have Micron, ISSI. MC, MXIC, Winbond, and also Cypress. And for storage, we have, uh, you know, those at EMFC, SD, and SSD. We have Micron, Sandisk, Toshiba, Swissbit, uh, Western Digital, and Transit. So Toshiba is now called Kyoxia, as I mentioned. So for uh, semiconductors, for our management, uh, we have the usual suspects, <laughs> which is uh, analog devices, like uh, because uh, they acquired a linear uh, linear technology a couple of years ago, so they have a more complete product line. TI, Texas Instruments, Imperion for the FPGAs and CPUs. SD Micro, also on semiconductors, which has a very wide line from uh, AC to DC, DC to DC, LEDs, power management. Infineon, uh, Vishay also has the uh, micro buck and also the micro brick uh, the micro buck has the uh, is a monolithic kind of ic which incorporates the uh, mosfet in in the ic itself and the micro brick is incorporates the inductor 
and also we have XR Semtech also has a wide portfolio for uh, for your product tree or uh, ROM semiconductor Allegro is also in this and uh, power for power modules if you don't want to uh, you know design your own then we also have Artisan to offer you the uh, different types of AC to DC, DC to DC power supply systems. Uh, Murata also has uh, those uh, uh, power bricks, Bell power solutions, also AC to DC, DC to DC. Linear technology also has their own offering, Texas Instruments and Moons for LED drivers. For wireless charging, we have under it uh, SD Micro. NXP, Semtech, a newcomer for it, uh, Texas Instruments, Analog Devices, and also Toshiba. So for discretes and passives, uh, for the connectors and wire harnesses, we have the uh, big four, which is which are Molex, TE Connectivity, Semtech, and Antonov. For passive and discretes, MOSFETs, and IGBTs, we have the usual uh, suppliers, the big suppliers, so one of it is uh, on semiconductors, um, Vichy, Infineon, TI, uh, Kemet, uh, SD Micro, Ween, uh, Xperia, Alpha and Omega, Diotech. Yeah, they have the uh, very high power uh, diodes, shot keys, uh, Yageo, MCC, and also uh, for clocks, we have ECS, T TXC, Abricon. Silicon Labs, while for inductors, we have Borns, uh, Vichy, also Kemet. While for protection and EMI, we have a little fuse. They have a variety of solutions that we can offer. On semiconductors also have SD Micro, Semtech has those uh, TVSs. Uh, on semiconductors has those uh, OVP, OCP, and also load switches. And they, they also have what they call the E-Fuse. And also NXP has their own offering as well. For antenna, custom antenna and wireless charging coils, we have a TE for uh, antenna and also the uh, uh, Molex uh, for uh, wireless charging coils and also uh, custom antennas. Pulse electronics, uh, usually the antennas. TDK also has their own uh, wireless charging uh, coils. Actually, uh, Vichy should be in this list because just recently they released uh, their, this, their series of uh, wireless charging coils. For LEDs, the usual uh, suppliers, Cree, Lumilads, Osram, Everlight, Lighton, Lidil, and Moons. While for super caps, we have Eaton and Vichy. Actually, Vichy also have uh, in their offering what we call the hybrid capacitor. It's a cross between a a super capacitor and also a battery so they have uh, it has both the properties with the advantage and uh, advantage of being just a capacitor so for batteries we have uh, GP batteries and also long sync energy and while for magnetics we have Bell and uh, Pulse electronics usually for the uh, power over Ethernet and Ethernet connections uh, standard wireless, we have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and Thread. So we have two types. We have the silicon, which are the chips, it's a chip itself, and also the modules. For silicon, we have Silicon Labs, uh, uh, Life, or, or ST Micro. Sorry, I was <laughs> I was uh, reading the, uh, uh, the statement below ST Micro on semiconductors, NXP, uh, Texas Instruments, Toshiba, Qualcomm. They have the uh, very you know, high-end chips and also Cypress. While for if you don't want to design your own uh, standard wireless, you can go for the modules offered by Silicon Labs, Murata, uh, the Microchip, DG, Texas Instruments Layer also has their offering. Telit, Panstel, Red Pine, Cansec, MX Chip, and Lightcon. While for the 4G and 3G, which is under the uh, 3GPP uh, uh, standard, we have Quectel, uh, Telit, DG, Neway. So all modules are certified. So for the sub gigahertz or for the low power sensor nodes, or they call it uh, low power wide area networks or 
LTW or, or LT1. For LoRa, of course, we have Semtech, which has the IP for the LoRa chip itself, the LoRa transceiver. Uh, if you don't want to go, if, if you don't want to design your own LoRa uh, module, then uh, you can you can uh, get hold of microchip modules, Morada, Telit, and also Lighton. While for SigFox, we have uh, on semiconductors, which are not only SigFox, but if you want to design your own proprietary uh, sub gigahertz uh, low power wide area network, you can uh, ask ask us for uh, solutions from on semiconductors. Also the same for microchip, Telit, and Lighton. While for NB-IoT and LTEM, we have offerings from Telit, Quectel, EOA, and also from Digi. Now, if you want a more proprietary type of wireless, we have uh, uh, analog devices, which offers a dust network previously from linear technology and later on was acquired by analog devices. So this is the, uh, the industrial hazardous type of environment where you can have 99.99999% you know, uh, reliability. That's a five digit Nines on the uh, you know on the uh, uh, decimal places. So we also have Silicon Labs and also Texas Instruments. So all modules are certified in this lineup. So for sensors, let's go to you know for gyro temperature, humidity, proximity, optical, etc. We have the uh, main suppliers. We have an analog devices. Uh, SD micro on semiconductors, Silicon Labs TI, Texas Instruments TE for the industrial sensors, Sensorion for the temperature, humidity, and PM 2.5. NXP also have their own uh, gyro and also accelerometers and uh, other types of uh, MEMS sensors. And Finian also has their own lineup, Little Fuse, Allegro, AMS. So I'm going to talk about uh, these on the next slide. Like uh, for relative humidity and temperature, we have some Syrian, AMS, and Silicon Labs. For humidity, TI, Syrian, and TE for industrial type of sensors. For the gyroscopes, we have uh, uh, Bosch for the gyro sensors. Uh, we have Bosch, SD, SD Micro, uh, analog devices, NXP, and uh, some are from on semiconductors. For air quality, we have Syrian, uh, Amphenol. And Amphenol. So for image sensors, uh, on, semiconductor, on Semiconductors offers a uh, wide range of image sensors uh, from uh, you know 0.8 from 1 megapixel to 12 megapixels. Uh, and also AMS offers their own, and they also have a lot of uh, light sensors. Yeah, same as on Semi. For light proximity distance movement movement uh, sensors we have uh, like for the 24 gigahertz radar we have offerings from infinian and also analog devices now for radar 60 gigahertz uh, we we only have infinian for the 7 uh, 77 gigahertz we have texas instruments and for pir or passive infrared we have uh, like on for light sensors we have uh, ams and for pm 2.5 sensors uh, we have uh, Sincerion, Amphenol, and Honeywell. So these are the modules themselves on the right side or the picture shown. So for other specialty chips, uh, like for example, if you're looking for RFID, NFC, we have NXP and also SD Micro. Uh, security and chip card, we have Infineon. For security, NXP also have their own offering. Uh, acoustic noise cancelling, audio beam forming, we have Micro Semi. And for uh, virtual reality, uh, AR tracking, laser, sensor AFE, AFE, we have Triad Semiconductors. For eSIM, we have uh, Infineon and SD Micro. And for artificial intelligence or AI, we have NVIDIA and Intel for a higher uh, level of uh, AI. So for uh, fast capacitive fingerprint sensors. We have micro. Um, uh, sorry, we have fingerprints. So uh, arrow. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know I have mentioned earlier in the slides. Uh, arrow uh, is a uh, you know the, our, our main you know tagline would be five years out. We're trying to do uh, sustainable 
solutions uh, and architecture and design. So, you know, you can uh, do some prototyping, fast proto rapid prototyping, prototype to scale. So you could, uh, you know, market your products, uh, you know, more faster. So we also offer hardware and software integration, cloud security and analytics. And under those, uh, under these are, are different types of verticals, aerospace, aerospace and defense, business intelligence, cloud data center, internet of things, lighting, mobility, power management, security, sustainability, and also in transportation. So, so who is, if you would ask who is Arrow, so uh, we're a global leader or a distributor of uh, electronic parts and uh, devices. So we were founded in 1935. Our headquarters is located in uh, Centennial, Colorado, USA. We have uh, different locations around the world, uh, 349 serving and 80 plus countries. And we have 20,000 uh, 20,100 uh, 20, employees all over the world. We have uh, 200,000 plus customers. And we are a member, or we are ranked 113 in the Fortune 500, you know, the famous magazine. And we have 29.7 uh, billion of sales last 2018. And we are also traded in the New York, New York Stock Exchange. We have the ticker symbol ARW as arrow. So this slide shows uh, just uh, some of the innovations that we have, like uh, we have uh, designed and built a semi-autonomous car, or we call the SAM car. Uh, it's enabling paralyzed former IndyCar racer Sam Smith to realize his dream of driving again. So this, this uh, you know, Sam Smith uh, is a former IndyCar uh, race car driver who was paralyzed because of an accident. So we designed a car that even though he is paralyzed from neck down, can still drive his own car. Actually, right now he acquired his uh, uh, driver's license in the U.S. to allow him to to drive on the streets. So to to, to uh, you know to 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 describe more, then I can show you a simple video. I hate to say it, but in 15 years of being stuck in a wheelchair, at some point you get a little numb, you get a little stuck, and thinking that, am I ever gonna get out of this wheelchair? Am I ever gonna be able to truly act independently? Sam is an amazing guy, just period. One of the important things that our CEO said a while back, the injury never changed Sam. He never stopped being a race car driver. Uh, he just didn't have a car to drive afterwards. This car was originally designed for a road course, so this is Sam, what we call 2.0. Once we get to the track, uh, the first thing we got to do is make sure all the systems come up. So we look at all of our camera systems that track the position of the head. We make sure that our sip and puff system's running and that all the rest of the guidance computer is up and going. And then we load Sam in through the removable target top. Once he's in, we then calibrate all of our sensors. Once we go through that, uh, we're pretty much good to go. There's one thing that's happened in dealing with Aero. It's inspired me, it's given me a vision that we can, through technology, change people's quality of life. This is why I became an engineer. I mean, it's been a dream in that sense, to go out and do stuff that's never been done before. Really phenomenal to be back out here after 16 years. 1999 is the last time I drove here, so uh, very sentimental, very cool. There's a new group of people that I, I think I can truly call close friends and we've all enjoyed being a part of this from start to finish. Sam inspires everybody, not just people who have some sort of severe disability. He inspires me, he inspires everyone. It's just been a, an all-around fantastic experience and I feel honored to be a part of this team and to meet the people that I've met. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life.
Okay, I hope you like the video. So if you have more questions about Arrow and uh, you know, want to meet some of our guys, including me, then you can contact our, our local Arrow sales or FAE uh, through this email. Or if you want, you can click like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, I will guide you through if you have any uh, future requirements. And uh, I hope that we can have a very good business together. And yeah, that's it. That's my presentation. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. And uh, keep safe, everyone. And I hope uh, that uh, we all be in good hands after this uh, pandemic that we're experiencing. Uh, we, we, I would like to uh, thank everybody for participating. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you.